Welcome back to the show, folks. We're here with the uh, author of Boardwalk Empire, Northside, and Darrow's Nightmare, the forgotten story of America's most famous trial lawyer, Judge Nelson. So we talked a little bit about Atlantic City and, and the, the beauty that it was and the prohibition and a little bit of the problems that we had. And we were touching on it briefly uh, during the break there, and I'd like to bring it to uh, back to the table. Some of the things with Atlantic City back in the day and what it needs today. Uh, what, what, made, what made old Atlantic City great was spectacle. Mm. And by spectacle, I mean events that would draw large crowds of people. So you had all sorts of things, whether it's people doing a high wire act or whether it was different types of parades or it was, you know, pie eating contests, dog races. But they were planned by the city and they knew a certain portion of the tourist population would, would come for that. Now we got the casinos, and there's nothing wrong with the casinos. They're, they're doing a great job, but it's not their job to promote the city. That is their job to promote themselves, and the city does not do a very good job of promoting itself. And, and you know, I agree with you now that we talk about, the, like you said, whether it's uh, Hard Rock, uh, Borgata, whatnot, they're going to promote the shows, the folks that are coming in. Well, they should. Leno coming in, right. And the city itself, whether it's that field at Bader Field or that beautiful beach or boardwalk that we have, because back in the day, again, I got involved with Miss America back in 2013 when she came back to Atlantic City from Las Vegas, may not have still the, uh, the, you know, the, the hordes of people that were on that boardwalk, but that was the spectacle you're talking about. And it's those marketing people's co job. Co correct, correct. And we're not doing that today. And that's, that, I think, is part of the problem. Mm. And, and I have been to ear of a fair number of people in City Hall over the years, and nothing happened. So I'm saying it again now publicly. There you go. So <laughs> I hope you folks are listening, whether it's uh, municipal, state, county, uh, because we do. It, it, it's It's the truth. I mean, what better place to do uh, an event like that than the Atlantic City Boardwalk or Beach? Again, Bader Field, I mentioned. There's so many, many events that were back in the day, and we could just, whether it's the concerts, uh, they, they the do con it. But the, the, con the concerts are a good thing. The air show is a good thing. But we don't have much more. beyond those two. We right. really don't. No, and we do need more. And we're going to touch more on that, whether it be here at the studio at Stockton University or at WOND Radio. We're going to Sounds go back good. and forth with this stuff here. So listen, I mentioned the north side. One of my favorite books all time to read, Book Nerd. And, and you said something very interesting, probably a little bit more important than, than uh, Boardwalk Empire. Oh, I think it is. See, what's important about the North Side is it tells the story of the indispensable role of the African-American community in creating Atlantic City from 1880 to 1930. And those dates do have some shoulders. But I know for at least 50 years, 95% of the hotel workforce was African American. Mm. If you remove the black experience from Atlantic City, a town that could host a third of a million people during the summer, that town doesn't even come to exist because black people built the railroad, they built the hotels, they manned the hotels, right. and they did all of the work needed for a tourist community. And so, it's a really important book, and I, and I do try to explain why the African-American community was, is indispensable to what Atlantic City grew to be. And on the north side, in reading that book, and it comes to me, the amount of doctors and, and oh, businesses. T touch on the, that. The, the, a lot the, of folks the, don't. There's one photo that says it, says it all. In the north side, I have a photo. It dates back to like 1937, 38, 39. I think it's just before 40. And there's 11 doctors, mm. all of whom live and have their practice on the north side. Today, right. there's not one, not right. one. Now, that, that's a really sad commentary on a community. But, that's a, but there's a, there's a, the answer for that is very complicated. I'm not yeah. even, I'm, I mean, it, because it gets real involved. And, and if you wanted to have that conversation, I'd say, let's get me and Ralph Hunter up here together. And, I, and, yeah, and, and, <laughs> and, Ralph, and I, Ralph and I could play off each other 
and, and explain its story because it's 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 not a pretty story. Let's put no, it that way. Uh, and I hear what you're saying. Uh, I've had Ralph on the show before. Oh, what a gentleman! And what the, a gentleman! Yeah, the two of you together. I've somewhere out. I believe it was at Stockton University. It may have been in Lake City. Uh, he tells the story. Also, the two of you have it, and we're going to do that. We're going to do that story. So, with the North Side, let folks know exactly where in Atlantic City what was considered the North Side, as far as geographical. Well, the, the, the North Side was north of Atlantic Avenue, right. uh, and then you would say west, yes, west of Epsicum Boulevard, and that area in there. I mean, did it did it spread a little? Sure, but I mean, that's pretty much where it was concentrated. And, uh, the African American contribution of Atlantic City, and not only that, the state of New Jersey, because it's quite frankly enormous, yeah, enormous, it's enormous. Great book, folks. I, I definitely recommend that. Besides Boardwalk Empire, um, I enjoyed it. I still have it on my. Uh, coffee table, and I hand it to folks. They're like, oh, isn't that the guy that wrote Board Game? I know, you need to read this book first. And, and it is. It's, it's incredible. First of all, the amount of, again, I don't mean to repeat myself, whether it was doctors or uh, business professionals. Oh, God, uh, yeah, just, all sorts of businesses, all sorts of restaurants, hotels, right. boarding houses. Yeah. It was it was, North Side was, a, was a vibrant place. It at was one something. time, it truly I'm, was. I'm going to take you up on that, and I'm going to have you and Ralph. We're going to get together, and I'll, I'll do. I'll get to Jitney to pick us up, whether it's here or Linwood at the studio at W O N D. Judge Nelson, listen, you got to tell me about this. And I touched on this a little bit when we uh, first uh, part of the interview. At uh, I'll even say Tony Bologna's. We're sitting there having a pie, uh, soda pop. Darrow's nightmare. Tell us about that. It's just something that's grabbed you. C Clarence Darrow is one of the best known lawyers in American history. What people know him for right away is, is the Scopes monkey trial where the theory of evolution was put on trial back in Tennessee many years ago. But before that, the worst two years of his life were when he was charged with a crime himself and stood trial. Now, other authors have read newspaper articles and historical accounts, but I'm the first author who read the 8,000 page, 12 week trial transcript, and then wrote a book based upon that. And it was a lot of work, a lot of fun. Uh, it's in the hands of a Hollywood producer. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take. He's telling me it's either six hours of TV or it's two and a half hours of, of, of movie, but you know, he's, he's shaping it and we'll go from there. And that's the beauty of it. Uh, like you said, when it's in their hands, it's in good hands. Yeah, yeah, it's in good hands, but yeah. I just have to be patient now. Right. So now with, where did that, you know, I know you, you're in law and, you know, being a, a judge, your love for that, though, to spend that oh, amount of time and the misses, you know, she, she, she. Well, uh, I always wanted to be a lawyer. Okay. I, I had a very uncomplicated life. I had no decisions to make. No choices, no anxiety. At the age of five, I decided I wanted to be a lawyer, and so I never thought about doing anything else. It just went forward. And throughout that time, Clarence Darrow was always, you know, like a role model, a hero, because he, he, he was definitely someone who spoke truth to power and paid prices for it. Right. He, 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 more than once, his career had setbacks because he backed up, you know, faced up against the wrong people. So I've always admired him. And I always was troubled by those two years and how historians dealt with us. Some historians tell you right out, oh, he was guilty. Other ones say, oh, no, he wasn't guilty. But in Los Angeles in 1912, there were 10 newspapers. Every newspaper has its own perspective. That's right. And so if you try to talk about a trial based upon newspaper articles, you, you're just getting, you know, the, the, of the aroma of the after fact, like maybe walking into a kitchen and smelling different things cooking. The trial transcript, because I've tried a few cases and I presided over about 250 trials, when I read a trial transcript, it comes to life for me. Right. And so my job was to make the trial transcript come to life for the reader. I think I did it. I got a producer who thinks I did it. My literary agent thinks I did it. And so we'll see. I it's, think you know, it's a fickle business. It really is. Right. But, but I'm, I'm patient. With the track record and Board the passion. Boardwalk Empire taught yeah. me to be patient. That's Let's right. put it that way. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> With the passion and, and, like you said, the patience and, and it's in the right hands. I'm looking forward to reading it, but also to watch it and see where it uh, winds up. So thanks again, Nelson Johnson, for being on our show today. We appreciate it. I got the feeling that this is going to continue. Uh, we'll continue with this here. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back.